G'day there guys, it's Cody here. Um, in this video today, I'll be doing um, a bit of a, a completed listings um, walkthrough. Um, in men's clothing, um, I'll just go into the category and show what um, men's clothing are selling at this point of time. And have in mind that this is in Australia, so if you're looking for um, any particular men's brands, or you can do women's brands, and then you just get an idea of what um, brands are selling and what type of clothing them brands are in and then you just have that in mind for when you go into the op shop and just um, see if you can find that particular item so um, for example I um, I looked up I believe it was a Katmandu fleece jacket that I have back there um, and I didn't know nothing about Katmandu until I looked it up in the completed listings and saw that it sold and I picked it up six bucks and it's um, up there for 45 so, um, particularly um, con considering it's um, it's winter down here in Australia now, um, the these type of um, jumpers and um, you know wool jackets and all that sell really well, um, and they make more profit than a typical polo shirt. So, what we do um, now, bear with me because I have um, pop-ups that come up from my computer because it's it's got a few viruses. But we'll go to if I can find it. Um, fashion men's clothing, um, and then we want to go to. I don't know how to do it on the computer, but um, we'll just um, go advanced, and it's in all categories. So we want to go to. Men's clothing. Now these pop-ups are just going to keep coming up. It's really annoying. I apologise. Um, but clothing and shoes, accessories, and then we want to go to sold listings. Preferably not completed because it just gets sold, so we know what is selling. <coughs> so um, once we do that, we go whatever buy now auction doesn't matter, and then preferably used clothing, and then hit search. Now hopefully. Um, this works. Alright, so here we go. Because um, I normally do this um, researching just on my phone. Because it's just um, it's just much easier to do it on the phone. But these ads are just going to keep coming up. Um, but yeah. Uh, yep, so we have... It's in women's clothing as well. So we'll categorise it down to men's clothing. <clears throat> Alright, so we got Zara Man. Now, it's, I've, actually, it's pretty stupid of me. I saw a few of these today and I never picked it up. But um, Zara Man is a good brand to look out for. Um, $35 that sold for. It's going to get annoying. Um, $35. Um, a Nordica jumper. Nordica is a good brand. You know, their polos, they sell polos. I've picked them up a few times, but their polos only sell for about 10 bucks each, so it's not really worth it. But their jumpers go good. Um, yeah, it's a pair of shorts, Country Road. Um, a wool, the wool jumpers go really well this time of year. Um, Country Road again. Hugo Boss jumper, right there. Um, another Hugo Boss. Industry. Um... Rod and Gun is a very good brand. I was sold with Rod and Gun a few times in their polo shirts. I picked up a suit jacket, um, which sold. Um, did here they have a jumper. Um, Team Honda. Yeah, this is another good brand to look out for. Super Dry. Um, <coughs> there's another one. Thirty-five bucks, pretty good. Considering you pick them up for about five dollars. Um, what else they got? A vintage bomber jacket. Here's a Ralph Lauren. Typical Ralph Lauren that sells well. Um, G Star is another good one to look out for. Um, I think I might actually search for um, coats and jackets because they bring in the most profit. Um, so we'll have a look here. Um, Road to dry. They got. Team Honda one again. Um, 
let's go through all this stuff. He, uh, R, R. M. Williams is another good brand. Um, now I haven't even picked up that brand either. I've been looking, but um, I haven't found nothing yet. Stray, I've seen that in there a few times, but I guess it's because it's leather, it sells for a bit more. Um, D and G, Dollars and Gabbana, um, is another brand to also look out for. Um, Lee, another good brand. Country Road again. Now this one, <clears throat> if I come across this in an op shop, it'll make my day. Because um, I've been looking out for this brand as much as I have with this brand right here, Patagonia. Um, now this, by the way, if you've seen one of my previous videos, I picked this up for eight dollars um, from local savers, and after um, doing a bit of research and communications with other um, e eBayers and that, um, I discovered that it sells for about one hundred and twenty dollars. I have it up there on eBay at the moment at a starting bid price of one twenty, and um, already hun uh, four people are looking at it. So um, yeah, if I find something like this North Face jacket here. Um, I believe a rain jacket like this one here and um, the big puffer jackets and the vests um, sell really, really well. So they're in high demand at the moment. So I highly recommend if you ever come across that brand, if I can click on it just to <coughs> show you what to look out for. But um, here, this is the logo right there. So keep an eye out for that. Really, really good brand, and a lot of money is in that. Um, so keep an eye out for the North Face. Uh, here, there's a. I don't even know what that is. Um, guess you could look into that. Um, but what else have we got here? <coughs> Leather jackets go well. Here's that G-Star brand again. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, bomber jackets. I try and look for jackets that sell for more than twenty dollars because you want to make at least twenty dollars or more profit. Here's a Katmandu jacket. Um, it's a rain jacket. It's only ten fifty. I suppose if you do find the brand Katmandu, you want to. Do a quick um, look up on your um, on your phone, or whatever you have with you, just to make sure that the the item that's sold similar to that item is actually worth it. Um, here's another North Face jacket. If I just quickly show you um, a Kathmandu I picked up, it's like a nice purple one. <laughs> Seen in my previous video. Um, it's a Polytech, and I looked up. You know keywords as to Polytech <coughs> and all that, and I just, you know, I saw um, what it sold for, and something similar. You got to find something similar to to the item you have, color wise and as well size and all that. And um, I saw it sold for forty five dollars, um, so I thought, you know, I'll pick that up. Um, as you do. <coughs> now this brand here, YD, is an alright brand. It's not a very high brand with the shirts and that. Um, now this one, now this is a brand to really look out for. It's called Drizzabone. If you're in Australia, um, this is a really good brand. I came across this brand <coughs> in a jacket, which I've already shipped out, um, without doing any research beforehand. I just went into the, to the shop to the op shop and um, I just looked at the item and I, I come across it and I'm like the tag it looked really 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 quality like <coughs> it looks something that Ralph Lauren would have made you know that sort of quality and um, I quickly did a, a eBay search on my phone and I saw that um, Drizzabone sold that jacket for around 40 bucks so I jumped on it it was a good um, investment for six dollars but with this item, I'll show you my item that I sold. 
but since we're here, I'll just show you this item. As you can see, it has um, Drizzabone there. Um, they have a tag. Show you what they're looking out for right there. See? So, um, that's it there. Drizzabone, the original. It's Australia brand. Now, this was a extra, extra, extra large, and it sold for $249.95. <coughs> but that was like a, a long riding coat. So, uh, be on the lookout for that brand. Um, again, you could probably pop on Adidas sports coats if um, you find them. And um, I suggest to look here this Industries jacket. It's a good one too. Zoo York, especially, is a really, really good brand. Um, they're very popular in um, in t-shirts and that stuff. But um, but yeah, uh, Zoo York is a good one. I'll click on this one, have a quick look at this hoodie. Uh, Sold for eighty one dollars, something like that. You could probably find in the op shop. Um, here it is, New York. Um, G Star again. That's becoming very common. <coughs> Um, I might check some other categories just quickly. So I might go. I might go. What can we go? We'll go suits because I'm um, I'm slowly getting into the suit section in the op shop. Uh, I really need to do a bit more research on suits because <coughs> they are. Oh, what's happened here? There's only a few listings that are actually sold. Yeah, we'll get rid of coats and jackets category. Here we go. That's better. All right. So an industry brand suit, thirty bucks. <clears throat> um, what else have we got? We got industry again. Um, Perry Cardin. Country Road suit, hundred bucks. Um, Jeff Banks. Um, yeah, so I would suggest you guys just hop on eBay, complete listings, preferably sold listings, and choose a category that you're really good at when you hit up the op shops and just see, or maybe even <coughs> categories you have no knowledge about, and just get a pen and paper, um, and just write down these brands and take it in with you in the op shop just to. Um, see if you find something good, and you know, from knowledge, if you could remember it from when you did your, your research or your homework, quickly just look at your list, and then from that, you just um, Google it or eBay it on your um, on your phone, like specifically the material. Say if it's wool, I know it's wool ones you need to really look out for. For example, I um, I picked up this Harris tweed. Um, it's almost vintage, hand woven, um, a wool um, jacket. Now I picked this up at a half off. Um, um, from a Salvo's, I think it was. It was fifteen fifty, and I got half off. And I have it up on um, eBay at the moment for forty five dollars. So um, I suggest looking into sports coats, as they bring, you know. Huge profit margins. Here's a Calvin Klein. Um, what else? Hugo Boss. I've I have a few Hugo Boss suits and suit jackets and suit pants listed. <coughs> a double-breasted suit and Hugo Boss sold for fifty bucks right there. So um, here's a nice Versace suit. Um, Versace is a brand I know of. Another Versace. So maybe look out for that. Even their shirts go for fifty dollars. Just T-shirts for Versace. Here's Hugo Boss again. Ben Sherman. It's a really good brand. I haven't come across any of these. Either have our Ralph Lauren suits or anything like that. Hugo Boss. As you can see, the huge profit margins. If you pick up a shirt for 20 bucks and turn it into 50, 60. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, keep watching the videos if you don't mind liking and commenting. Help me improve and um, stay tuned. 
and uh, I'll be sure to bring you some more videos. So thanks for watching. See you.